Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we are benchmarking the Samsung Galaxy Grand Max, available for about Rs. 16,000 from Snapdeal. Now, even in terms of general use, I've seen this phone doesn't lag even a little bit. And let's have a look at the hardware first. We'll talk about the rest later on. So it features a 5.25 inch HD IPS display. You have a quad core Snapdragon 410 with Adreno 306 GPU, 1387 MB of RAM available out of 1.5 gigs. 13 megapixel rear camera capable of taking 1080p videos and a 5 megapixel front facing camera with 120 degree wide angle lens. You have a 2500 mAh removable battery and you have an accelerometer, a proximity sensor and a light sensor is also available, all working fine. Now we are going to start with the benchmarks. The first one we are going to run is Antutu. We have fast forwarded all the benchmarks to get to the results quickly and we got a score of 21567 which is a brilliant score in this price bracket easily beating out the Moto G2 and somewhat in the same realm as the Zenfone 5 which comes with 2 gigs of RAM. Now we are going to run the Nina Mark 2 benchmark. It's a graphics benchmark, will give us an FPS score and we got a score of 54.5 FPS which is not that brilliant but we do expect that high-end games would be playable especially with 1.5 gigs of RAM and Adreno 306. Now we are running the Quadrant benchmark. We are running the full benchmark here as well and we got a score of 12099. Again, a great score for this chipset, easily beating the rest of the phones available in this price bracket apart from the Xiaomi Mi 3. Now we are going to run the Velomo benchmark. First, the browser test. It's going to run Sun Spider, Octane and several other tests as well. And we got a great score of 1879, which does show that this phone would be able to perform great in web browsing and in terms of general usage as well. Next up, we are going to run the Velamo Metal Chapter specifically to test the processing capabilities of the phone. And the Snapdragon 410 scored a great 975, which is brilliant score in this price bracket, easily beating out the rest of the phones. Now we have seen this in all the benchmarks that we have tried. The Samsung Galaxy Grand Max actually scores better than most of the phones in this price bracket. Now we are doing the multi-touch test. I have six fingers, only five are detected. So it's a 5-point multi-touch display. Well folks, that was the benchmarks of the Samsung Galaxy Grand Max. It's definitely overpriced at Rs. 16,000. You can get the U Eureka for about Rs. 9,000 and it actually performs much better in terms of overall synthetic benchmarks. We'll be back with more on the Samsung Galaxy Grand Max. Till then you can watch its unboxing as well as the benchmarks of the Micromax U Eureka. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share any questions. It is in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a great day.